everybody welcome back doing an uh, iso crystal grind video look you know in about 20 minutes from the time i'm recording this we might find out that you know look the iso crystals aren't as big of a deal uh, as far as doom goes uh i don't anticipate that but maybe it does maybe it happens we'll see but regardless even if they don't require those crystals, you're gonna wanna be able to find a way to actually be able to farm these and know what you need to farm. So this video is gonna be about, uh, we got a spreadsheet, we're gonna be able to give it to you. So the link will be in the description below to go ahead and get that and use for yourself. Hopefully it's a tool you find useful. Uh, it's not as great and sexy as some of the other ones out there. Just had to do it quick, wanted it for myself, figured, you know what, this is how I got into the content creation uh business and uh i figured i'd throw it at you guys as well so we'll walk through that uh, and talk about why i did it what i'm doing it how it works etc for anybody who's new to the channel click the discord link in the description below and subscribe because we're working towards that 10k subscriber mark and do for the the giveaway and we're getting closer every day comment below to enter yourself into the drawing for that anybody who's uh commenting we're going to go on a bunch of different videos find random comments insert those people into drawing and then pick those so like comment all that kind of thing share uh subscribe etc etc all right let's go check out some isos amazon coins i wish i would have known about these when i started spending at all on amazon slash in gaming i can't believe i've waited this long to do it I could have saved i don't even know how much money it's kind of scary to think about the up to 20 percent at the peak value even some of the smaller ones or smaller packages have good values i encourage everybody if you're going to spend on any of this stuff definitely do it through amazon coins they they the savings by themselves speak volumes so save that money if you're going to spend it be smart i mean if you know you can save 20 percent on something you know you're going to spend the money on it wouldn't you want to do it so anyway, uh, the link in the description below brings you to this page. Buy whatever you want here. You know, pick whatever package. There's all kinds of other packs here. If you want to help support the channel, click that link that does bring you here. And every time you do purchase this, you do need to click that link. So it's important to remember that. It only lasts for about 24 hours. So next time you come through, if you don't mind, we absolutely appreciate it here. So thank you for that. I've got a video where I walk through the steps. You can see me right here. Yeah, double face. So go check out that video. Definitely uh, worthwhile so that you can figure out how to get this all set up, emulator, Android, all that kind of thing. So uh, appreciate Amazon Coin for the sponsor and save yourself some money. Go do it. Bring me Wolverthor. All right, quick, quick overview. Um, everybody should generally know or see these ISO situations where you come in here, you've got your crystals per stack category, all this kind of stuff. If you really haven't seen one or, uh, you know, back in the day, uh, Punk, Yeti and myself, put together this infographic it's still on my discord it gives you a real real nice at least in my opinion uh overview of what the system is what's what uh long and short of this is we've got a number of different traits we can see here uh with the brawler protector controller support blaster and these crystals above this in each category armor resist health focus damage they're all specific per this trait so a controller You've got crystals for each one of these categories. Support, there are different, uh, different crystals for each one of the categories. And uh, within those, you've got, you see on the side here, crystals needed per ISO level, where it goes from one to three to nine to 27 to 81. So you can see those right above my head here. So you can see they get substantially higher crystal requirements as you go to the highest level. I think most people know that, but I wanted to hit that real quick for anybody who might not know that. Now, I talked about the ISO or the, the Doom Raid, you know, also another infographic out there where you're looking at for teams like, look, these are the teams that I recommend for these different nodes. Uh, you know, you can adjust as needed a little bit, but ultimately you're trying to, you know, get the one shots for your teams uh, or for your alliance rather on these specific nodes. But look, whoever you pick, you've picked um but you'll know that these are some solid teams so i've used this guide um that i put together back in the day through some research and experience etc for figuring out the characters that i might want in the doom raid now we don't know if it's going to be required to have these iso fours fives we think so it's been said it's in the data mine i understand that they changed the dates etc but 
like I said, at some point you might still need to know what you need to specifically farm and how many you have uh, based on just trying to get to ISO level two. So with those two things um, at the forefront of our mind, let's go ahead and look at the tool I kind of put together here that might be able to help you a little bit. Let's, let's throw myself on the different side of the screen here so I'm not blocking you. All right, so now I shouldn't be blocking it at all. So this is, like I mentioned, this uh, I had this on the Patreon document, but I've made it available in my public document. That link should be in the description below. Uh, for some reason, I have a brain fart. Feel free to come to the Discord and uh, you know ping me on the general channel and say, hey, where is this at? Uh, so anyway, so what I did here is I've got the different... I just focused on Doom, like I said. I've got the different uh, traits here where we've got for uh, Mystic, Skill, Tech, Mutant, Bio. I've taken the characters that I've actually got on that infographic, like I said, and I've got the other traits for the ISOs across the top here. And all I did at this point is I just inserted ones because I just wanted a count of how many ever there were on each one, right? Now, what I did there is I, I sum up those totals um, so that you can kind of see them across the board uh, and how many you have. Now, I also have the secondary tune section because you'll notice that some of these tunes and it doesn't it's not real bright here but you can see like if you have a secondary tune that maybe you don't use as much or at all uh it sums up those so that i understand look how many of those secondary tunes and then i get the main number of tunes that i need per uh per trait here for the blaster brawler controller protector support and what it does, like I said, it, and this is per crystal stack category. And then I just took that number and times it by 81. Because I just needed to know, and again, per category for at the moment. I'll get, I'll break it up later. So I'm just trying to figure out exactly how many crystals I need based on essentially this. And you can see that well, for me, you know, it's like, and everyone knows this is not a secret, but the controllers is where I'm at and the support is the other one that's high. So I'm like, all right, well, I've got a lot of, uh, that's how my teams are basically composed. A lot of those two and the, I've got ties between the brawler and protector and the blaster. I've got much less, which is kind of nuts, right? And this might evolve as you get later into the game, but typically it's not because the early versions of these hard levels are really all about just surviving. So I'm not surprised those controllers and protectors uh, or rather supports are the bigger ones that you need there. Okay, so from there, what I did is I went through my own roster. Now, this is the part why I made this available because you would have to go through here and do this yourself. And look, like I said, I'm sure someone can go out here and make an if then document. I didn't have the time to formulate all that stuff. I just wanted to put something together really quickly uh, and make it available for other people. So I took that same team and I went through my roster and I just simply went through it where I was like, okay, so I have, um, you know, uh, let's look on this version of the roster. So I just went through the top and I said, okay, so I've got Thanos at five, Maul at five. I went through my roster to see who I had, what, where, right? And depending where those folks were, coming back to the spreadsheet, you know, like we were looking at Thanos. You saw Thanos was at ISO level five. So I put in an 81 there. And that told me like, all right, I've got him covered. So I know, you know, how many ISO crystals I've potentially used, right? So I've done that for each character on this list. Where, and again, you should go through it on your own and just find out where each was. Like Scream was at ISO 5, Carnage is at ISO 4, and I had my little thing off to the side just so I wouldn't forget. Uh, you know, Kitty was at ISO 3, you know, and that's that's where you see these 81s, these 27s, and these 9s. You'll notice none of them are at 0 or at 1 or even 3 because I didn't stop at an ISO level there for any character that I was using for uh, a raid. And also notice I got a couple grayed out sections because... We've got two characters here, luckily, with Kestrel and Doom, who can knock out two separate uh, lanes for at least the Doom raid. So what I did then is I total my crystals used. All right. Same concept as before. I took out my secondary ones because, look, Silver Surfer, I had 81 used there. But I don't, I mean, and you might call me crazy, uh, but I don't use him as much because I like the Ghost Rider Mordo. Um, uh, I like that... Uh, I like that combination to get the stun. So uh, I, I I don't use them as much. Anyway, point being is that I took out the ISOs used on my secondary tunes here. And so that I got my ISO crystals used on my primaries. You know, simple uh, subtract uh, addition and subtraction there. So, and then I did a, you know, simple math of what um, I've used. And if you come back up here, you know, what uh, I needed, 
right? So that that was it. That's what I've got there. Uh, nothing too exciting. Nothing you know more complicated than that. All right. So I, I see how many I still need for my primary. All right. Now pause for a second. That's what I need on my primary. Again, per crystal stack category. I understand that. I'll get to that in a second. All right. We'll address it and it'll get handled. So all right. The next section I put here is current crystal inventory so i flipped the script a little bit on how this is set up but i've got the same categories for iso same columns you know support protector controller broadly just alphabetical order and i've gone to my inventory and what i did here is i just simply looked what did i do i just went through here and looked all right so i've got a support i clicked here clicked here it always goes to the end i 106 233 etc etc i went through here and did that all right so i went through there and did that and i just put it in 106 233 323 and trust me or not trust me but anyway you put yours in here i put that uh, manually typed it in what my inventory is okay and then after that i sat here and i looked at what i was needed and i conditionally formatted it so i take what i've got I subtract what I need or what I need rather I subtract what I've got and it tells me how many more I need and then I conditionally formatted for you know whatever version if it's if I've got zero to negative it's obviously fine I don't have to worry about it um, and then you can conditionally format for whatever you need as far as the numbers but holy cow look at this you know I was like blown away I'm like I already knew I needed a lot for controller I didn't know I needed that many straight up i did not know i needed that many i actually was surprised with how many i needed for support too um i considered myself in very good shape for this um I, you know i'll get back to that in a second but as as we look at these numbers it really helps you tell it would help tell you at least for a doom situation or whatever raid you want or whatever you i mean you can you can change this however you want but it helps set up if it shows you what you need to focus farm as far as those iso crystals go all right so again now with this i'll see controller and what i'm gonna do from this is i'm now gonna go in game and you bet your bottom dollar that when i'm playing this i'm gonna go in and i go so we're talking about controller right i could filter it if i want blah 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 but i know black widow is a controller so i come in here and i come in and i do that and i just find and every day I need to make sure I go through all of these and I find because I, I need the, now what I used to do and actually let me finish this thought, but so I'm going to go through here and do this for each crystal, right? You get that idea I'm going to go through here and do this for each crystal. I'm going to find it, farm it. What I used to do and did for a long, long time, because ions are very, you know, critical in this regard for, uh, ISOs is you know and you get a thousand ions from these specific nodes i'd go through here and i'd farm just these and i did this forever did it for a long time loved it i was like great this is awesome i need these i need these i need these and then i'd go back once i hit all six of those i go back to my roster and depending who i was trying to build up i'd find them and go get specific crystals but now given that we might have some specific requirements for raids for legendaries whatever it might be you know you're going to need it for your blue tier blue of isos this will help you go through and see exactly where you've got a deficit so that's what i got um like i said link in the description below i got a lot of farming to do and i thought and actually before i go here i want to show you again i thought i was in good shape you can see lots of fives here lots of fives right and then when i went through here you know, I think on my other video, I talked about how Punk and I were looking at this and I thought I was in pretty good shape. I'm in much worse shape than I thought I was. All these reds, uh, you know, I, I really didn't. I mean, you can see Vision at one. He's six red. Uh, I've got some power armor there, uh, except for Falcon. He's at two. I've got a seven red star Black Panther. I haven't touched anything on him. Uh, Aim's got nothing. Some with just three. I didn't go very hard. You know, that's my point. You know, I didn't go very hard into these. You know, see more power armor with one. I know they've fallen off. Brotherhood's still pretty solid. I'm only on three there. So, yeah. So I went pretty hard. So I just wanted to share this with you guys to make sure that you kind of, you know, had a tool or 
you know, even just understood that, you know, this is the type of grind you've got in front of you. Uh, the tab on this thing is called ISO 8 Grind. There's some other information on here, but, you know, feel free to copy this and use it for whatever you need. So, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, Discord link in the description below. Subscribe to go ahead and follow along for that 10K giveaway as soon as we get to the 10,000 subscribers. And uh, yeah, like I said, comment and it gets you in the running for that award. Uh, and you can literally say whatever you want. I mean, you could be nice. I mean, if you're making a rude comment, we might, uh, you know, your ballot might get lost. Uh, we like to spread love and good karma in this this uh, channel and community as best we can. There's enough hate out there. So yeah, so do that. Uh, hammer down that like button, click the notification bell. Like I said already, subscribe. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.